Yo, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to the channel, my name is Evan, and today hop to another episode of Matchpoint 1's No Money Spent, you guys. I know I said in the last episode that today we're going to be getting our playoff player, and technically I could put him in this video, but I think the guy we're getting deserves his, his own episode. And the reason why we're going to get delayed a game is, as you guys can see from the title and thumbnail, one of my top three favorite Iowa State players of all time, of all time, got a 95 overall card. I mean, it... Guys, I mean, I'm not even gonna hold myself back from this. Like, I just want to go ahead and show you stats, guys. Please, everybody, re-welcome number 32, David Montgomery. Yes, you guys, as I said, David Montgomery is our new starting running back. I know we just got Saquon Barkley, but there was absolutely no way I was not getting my boy David Montgomery. I mean, I absolutely love this guy. Um, he was someone who definitely changed the culture of Iowa State to get them to the point where they are now. And he's just, like I said, he's one of my top three Iowa State players of all time. So it's awesome to have him on the squad. Obviously, he was the Team of the Week hero after his Week 15 performance, as you can see. 146 yards and two touchdowns versus the Vikings. Absolute beast. Definitely his best game to his young NFL career to this point. But look at that stats, guys. 95 speed, which I believe is the same as Saquon. 95 carrying. 84 catching, which is really good for a running back. 92 trucking, 93 break tackle. Obviously, he's a he's a very strong physical back, but he's also got some elusiveness. You know, his juke and spin move. He's got 93 juke, 89 spin move. So he's got 93 ball carry vision, 90 stiff arm. Like he's just so good. All right, this boy David is amazing, and obviously we had to give him abilities. So freight train in backfield master, um, just like I've had on my running backs for like a while now. But and also it was fitting. You know, we got to put on the Fiesta Bowl champion shirt for this guy, for the boy David. You know. Uh, but yeah, I'm, as you can see, I'm so pumped to have this man on the squad as our starting running back again. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and quickly check out the squad. So obviously for those new to the channel, you guys, for you know all of our new viewers looking at the squad, I'm obviously not going to go ahead and introduce everyone, but some of like, you know, the newer guys. Obviously David Montgomery, we just get, we just got. Saquon Barkley, we actually got last episode, so you know, we'll see what, what we do with him. Um, as well as David Bakhtiari and Mitchell Schwartz were also added last episode and George Kittle a few episodes ago. So those are kind of the big, you know, newer off upgrades offensively. For the defense, i say probably the newest ones have been Geno Atkins and Marshawn Lattimore. And honestly, that's about it. Oh, Deion Jones. Um, but yeah, honestly, like I said, uh, with our new pack coming next episode and I'm hoping the episode after that is going to be our... Um, the 50 promo pack so let me know in the comment section who you guys think my playoff player will be and who my 50 player will be i want you guys to know because i'm sure those are going to be the upgrades for the next two episodes special teams obviously you know we got that man tyler bass dory jackson and andy lee but with the being said you guys we're going to go ahead and hop into some head-to-head -head seasons obviously if you guys have enjoyed the content make sure you go ahead and like comment subscribe turn that bell notification on do everything all that you guys mean a lot as i said i know i just said it but drop please drop the comments on who you guys think it is like just do it, just do it. All right, let's 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 just let's just get into the game, you guys. Hopping into the game, you guys. We are going to be on the road. Obviously, we're looking to bounce back after, to be honest, it was a pretty poor performance the last game. Charles Woodson, DK Metcalf, Chris McCaffrey, definitely going to be a tough task, but uh, we need to bounce back now. I'm going to try and run some man. Obviously, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you guys know, like, it just doesn't work out well. As you can see, like, just about every single person is open. I, I just don't get how everyone can run. Like, I yeah, I just don't run man well. All right, this is a big play for the defense. Third and 24, you have to get off the field. I should have grabbed that tight end route. Oh, my God. I'm literally playing double curl flats, and yet I still stuck. Or, no, I played double hard flats, and I still stuck with the guy who was uh, going underneath. But, yeah, we cannot let Aaron Rodgers be running on us. This could be dumb, but, you know, we have to run him in here. Third and goal. He's honestly probably passing. Oh, wow, it's an option out to the left side. Or a little pitch. I don't know what that was. That was not a good play call, to be honest, so... I'm hoping he takes his three, as he does. It's obviously not the smartest play to go for it, considering I'm at my own 21-yard line, but you know what? Screw it, you know. It's not the end of the world. Never mind, I got, I got sacked. I think I would have had David for maybe a touchdown, but, you know, I can't do that when, when my 297 edge protectors just aren't blocking. All right, third down and seven for my opponent here. He does kind of quick snap me, which sucks. I couldn't get off my QB spying. Cromartie almost made an incredible play, but... You know, he, just, he was just short of it. This is obviously where my opponent likes to run the ball, so I am going to run commit up the middle, and, you know, when I run a commit up the middle, of course there's just, there's a wide open lane. How the heck is it already, like, it, we're, it, we're three minutes left in the second quarter. This game is kind of flown by low-key. Uh, George Kittle, he should get open on that slant. I, 
What? There's no way he didn't have a step on him. Are you kidding me? Guys, why is this? Oh my god. All right, third and nine for my opponent here. Just hit the two-minute warning. We need to get off the field as he's going to dump it up to, of course, CMC. Oh my god. If we get down 17, we're screwed. To be honest, my question is, why the heck do I always get off to just awful starts? I just don't understand it. He's going to run the screenplay, which is... Are you kidding me? God, why does this always have to happen? I'm kind of left with no choice here. I mean, I, I gotta go for it down 17. I mean, no, I, I know it would put me in a bad position, you know, if I don't get it, but what other choice do I have? And it's a bad throw. God. I just really need Derwin to cover McCaffrey. Like, the thing is, I need someone to play man coverage on him. That's a big reason why I'm in man coverage. And, of course, when I do that, it's just... Like, I don't understand why everyone can run man coverage extremely well versus me, but the second I do it, just, it's, it's a no. It's just, it's a no. Like, it, it, I'm down 24 nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> Hopping into game number two, you guys. And, it, of course, it's a stack squad. Like, uh, I mean, I shouldn't expect anything less. It's, it's just kind of annoying to play this all the freaking time. All right, it's a new game. It's a fresh start. We just have to shake that game out of our mind. Just erase it. Like I said, it's a new game, and we just we got to go out here and get the win. He's going to run a few times. He's going to get the first down. I'm not entirely sure why, but I feel like at the beginning of the year, my defense was the strong suit of my team, and now like I can never rely on my defense. Like I can never rely on them. My opponent is going to be running hurry up, uh, hurry up offense here, so fourth down and five. Obviously, the defense get off the field. That'd be pretty amazing. I'm expecting a pass here, as this one is. It definitely sucks to know that I was about to get the stop I needed and I got, you know, illegal contact, but hopefully defense can end up getting another one here. He is going to run the ball. I should be there with McCourty somehow. Somehow that's not a tackle and Carlos Hyde is going to break like every tackle. My opponent literally threw the ball one time in the entire first quarter and he still has the ball. Like just playing runners is so annoying. He's going to run play action, of course, and he forces it and somehow doesn't get picked. The game plan hasn't changed. We got a feed 32, and of course he has an inside stuff. Why would he not have an inside stuff? But David Montgomery's gonna break it to the outside. Big game for David Montgomery. Let's go, man. Obviously, you know, I'm playing a uh, inside stuff, so if I have to run the ball to the outside, that is what's gonna happen. I will run stretch if I need to give David his carries. A couple juke moves. Okay, David. Thank you for not losing the fumble. I'm gonna run some hurry up offense. Third and six, just about to hit the two minute warning. David is getting very tired. You know, he took a couple hits, so, I mean, he should be tired. George Kittle, wide open. Dots from her. Let's go. I obviously want to feed the rock to David, but I can't, I can't not, I can't risk a fumble, so maybe he gets open in the passing game. Okay, Keenan. Oh, yeah, he's wide open in the back corner of the end zone. Dots from his man, Herbs. Touchdown, Slayer. This is not good. I do not have my audible set for the five wide. I was hoping to be in cover four. Throw the curl. He doesn't, but he hits Carlos Hyde. This would be a big, big play for the defense if we can get off the field. I mean, I would assume he'd go for it, but it is third and two. I'm going to guard the slant. He's going to playmaker him. And, of course, he got the Andre Johnson wide over the middle down to the 10. The good thing is that, you know, luckily, he's out of timeouts, but there is 28 seconds, and that's just what I'm talking about. Like, my man coverage just, it does not play well. It's probably the smart play to just to be safe. We get the ball at halftime, take it to half, but you know we don't do that. Oh, I may have had stuff open over the middle. I'm going to play maker George Kittle. Oh, he's open for days. Maybe a juke. He almost got past that, but we're, we're in field goal range. Man, if we can answer back with a touchdown of our own, that'd obviously be incredible. Keenan Allen, corner route. It's going to be open. Catch it. Go upfield. Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to have a play to go up to the end zone. If I didn't step out of bounds, I definitely had a shot to take that to the house, but we still got one shot at the end zone, so hopefully we're able to make the most of it. Are we going to throw it underneath? <laughs> My God, are you kidding me? Ah. Uh, God dang. This is not at all the star we wanted for this second half of play. Um, obviously, third and 14. This is just never what you want, but that crossing pattern should get open late. Vernon Davis, great throw from Herbs. I obviously want to force feed David, so I'm going to try and get the ball in his hands a different way by doing a screen pass as, oh man, he's got a lot of room ahead of him. Couple blockers. Good, good, good. <laughs> great game from David. Man, it definitely sucks for the inside zone or the inside lanes to just never be open, but you gotta make the most of it. So fourth and four. Obviously, I feel like this is a spot we need to go for it. Keenan Allen, post route, first down. My opponent has been running some cover three, so I'm kind of hoping maybe Kittle gets open. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure here. Um, I'm just hoping like a seam shot. It's not there. All right. Um, maybe some late. Okay, Dizzy. Oh man, I did not realize whoever that was was right there. All right, it's gonna be a long field goal. 
Man, yeah, this is a huge kick, Bass. All right, we, we got focus kicker, so it's going to be good all day. It, we should have a lead, but at, at least we're tied. This is definitely pretty nerve-wracking, you know, him just running the ball. All right, this is going to be a pass. He's probably going to want the corner out. Oh, my God. He goes to a curl. This is just such a basic runner. Oh, my God. Even better, he's running hurry up, which um, it saves me a timeout, basically. So, this is a absolutely huge play for the defense. We know he's going to pass the ball. I have a couple curl flats and a couple hard flats. I got to just watch this side. Is that what he's going to? The corner route. He throws it underneath. That, that's huge. All right, I'm going to call my timeout. Hopefully, he takes his three and we're going to have a shot to go down, tie, or, or even win the game. He is going for the kill shot. This is basically for the win. I'm only going to have two timeouts left. So, if I don't stop, he's going to be able to run a lot of clock. God. Pat P, how do you knock our Kittle? I definitely feel like he's going to end up just running like an inside zone play or uh, some kind of trap. Yeah, that's exactly what he ran. I'm going to let him score. If he's smart, he should... At least it gives me a shot, I guess. It definitely helps to have one timeout left in this game. Um, the, it should help us out down the line. Key down, corner route, possession, catch it, get out of bounds. That's a, that's a good start. I'm sure he's going to be expecting these corner routes. I'm hoping Dixie can get open on it. Man, just no one's really open. Ridley? Oh, my God. He's streaking down the sideline. Let's freaking go. I really want to go for two, but... Oh, man. Okay, this actually, this actually works out really, really well, actually. Now, the reason I'm saying this works out well is because I can either make him waste his timeouts or waste clock. I mean, I should be able to get in from a yard out. As we do get in the first play, he wasted a timeout. I'm tempted, I'm very tempted to go for two, but I'll, I'll, I'll go for the tie. Man, I'm really nervous about this play call. I mean, he, he's really one play away from winning this game. It's going to be a stretch. No, I thought he was going to go back inside. I think I just lost the game off that. I mean, I, I got to run commit. I, I really have no other options. If it is a play fake, a play action, oh my god, it was. Oh my god, it was. Oh my gosh, it was. Oh my god. I mean, him taking his three, I guess it gives me yet another small chance to get back in this game. It's a fake! What is he doing? What is he doing? Dude, he's gonna run out of time! He ran out of time! What a dumb mistake! Oh my gosh, we're gifted a shot at OT. Oh my god, what an idiot! What was he thinking? And we won the toss! Oh my gosh, there's no way right now. If we win, we are so freaking lucky. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna try and play it safe and run the ball a little bit, trying to establish the run game. David Montgomery, he's got a crease! He's got Ronnie Lott to beat! Oh my gosh, David, let's go! That sack, absolutely, it really hurt the possess or the drive here. Third and 19. Austin's gonna be tough not to go for it, but Keenan Allen! He's not gonna make that decision tough as once again in the clutch. Slayer, pick it up the slack. That was such a crucial play from Keenan Allen. We're gonna be running it with David Montgomery, trying to break it to the outside. David Montgomery with the crease! Montgomery in the clear! Let's go, David! Come on! A play action pass is more than risky. But I wanted to give it in the hands of 32. Alright, he's not going to be open. He's probably going to bite on Keenan. And we got sacked. I was waiting for the delay fade. Oh my gosh, I may have screwed up the drive again. We're in a very, very tough position here. Obviously, just no turnovers. And I can't get sacked either. I don't want to get knocked out of field goal range. I'm going to take the underneath route. Calvin Ridley, he's going to get us closer to field goal range. Bass, you've already hit one clutch field goal. Can you make it two? He definitely can. It's up to the defense now. All right, second and three for my opponent. He is going to be running hurry up, so I guess we'll see what happens. I have double hard flats, which is not what I want. The corner, oh man. Oh, the, the, uh, I don't know. This is not looking good. I feel like I'm going to have to maybe call a timeout here shortly. I'm just, I don't know. The defense is not where I want it at the moment, but we'll see what happens. A couple stuff over the middle. He's probably going to go to the running back, and I missed Hyde. Oh God, th this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> this is definitely not looking good for me here. First and 10, 25 seconds. I mean, obviously that won't play a factor. He's probably going to go to the running back. I missed it. Oh my god. We really just lost that. Man, I don't know what to say. This has not been the greatest start to the season. We have never been 0-3 yet. So, um, yeah, I don't really know how to feel about this one. I'm sorry, you guys. This is not, I don't know why. I'm, just, I'm not playing good at the moment. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's the break. I don't know. I, I really don't know, but I'm just not playing good, so... I mean, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and smash the like button. Go ahead and subscribe down below. Obviously, hit that bell notification to be notified for all future No Man's Episodes. With that being said, you guys, it's been your boy, and I'm out. Peace out, you guys.